Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. So as you know like uh, I'm a I'm, uh, very fan of Docker and uh, we created a lot of tutorial on Docker and uh, we try to run a lot of applications on Docker as a containers. So in this uh, video I'm going to show you something really interesting. So what we are going to do is like uh, we know like uh, Linux right. So Linux, uh, we can run Ubuntu or Alpine or you know Arch. So different kind of uh, Linux flavors, you can run it on uh, your virtual machines or local machine. So how about running a, a Linux uh, desktop on a web browser? Uh, have you ever thought about that? Like you can access your complete uh, Linux system from a web browser. You go to a web browser and you access a link and you are able to get a complete uh, Linux system where you can uh, open the terminal, we can install application, we can do whatever we want through the web browser. So uh, that will be very interesting, right? So uh, that would be part of this tutorial where we'll see like, you know, running uh, different flavors of Linux, whether it can be Ubuntu or maybe Arch Linux or it can be uh, Alpine uh, and different versions of Linux like KDE or you know Mate so different kind of flavors which we can run on a web browser so you may be thinking like how we can do that so we are going to see about web top so uh, we are not going to create something by ourselves or the uh, linux.io they have already uh, have a something called web top where you can run uh, a Linux uh, desktop inside a web browser so we are going to run a linux desktop inside a web browser using web top so how we are going to do that we'll see all these processes as part of this tutorial we'll be creating uh, containers so that container will be using different kind of flavors of linux so once you run those containers we'll be able to access you know the whole uh, linux uh, desktop from a web browser so before I get started, I would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button. Also like my videos, share and give your comments, you give your feedbacks. So let's get started. So what we are going to see is like uh, from linuxserver.io. So I'll be giving all this uh, reference link in the video description. So you can check on the video description. So you'll be getting all the details there. So the Linux dot uh, Linux server dot IO they have different kind of images. So if you go there, you'll be able to see different images. So what we are going to do is we are going to look into the web top. So web top is what we are going to do where we can uh, you know run different kind of flavors of Linux like Alpine, Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, and you know this this is a full uh, desktop environment which we can uh, run on a, any web browser. Okay, so different uh, you know flavors as I said you know uh, different tags you can use when we run the container. So if you use latest, it will be giving uh, an Alpine uh, flavor. If you're using Ubuntu XFC, you'll be getting this. You can use uh, Fedora, you can use Arch, you can use Alpine KDE, Ubuntu KDE, Fedora KDE, and you can also use Mate uh, flavor. So all those things you can use. So there are a bunch of uh, options you have when you run. And once you run those uh, containers, you access your application using your uh, host, the local host, if you have a local, uh, or you can use your IP address and uh, the port number. So the port number also, like, you know, we'll see how the port mapping that happens in the Docker container. So if you're mapping to a different port, that will change as well. So uh, all those things, and by default, if you log in uh, to the desktop, the username and password is like ABC, ABC. You can change that also using environmental variables so let's uh, check how you can uh, set up uh, you know this docker container so some of the pre-requests like as you know like we are going to run docker uh, you need to have a system where you have docker installed so if you don't know how to set up docker uh, i would ask you to refer the tutorials on docker how to set up docker and how to configure that so that you can run docker containers i also have a lot of videos on that i will uh, link that also into this video description how to create docker so you can refer that and you can uh, set up a docker and then you can uh, use this uh, container creation process so there are different ways you can create the container so you can use a docker compose file so this is a sample compose file where if you see what we are doing is we are defining the image so we are going to use in this image uh, for webtop we are defining a name for the container calling uh, webtop 
and we are allowing the container to run in a privilege mode so this is an optional uh, variable so if you want if you can use that otherwise you don't want you can skip that and you also have some security po uh, no options and from an environmental pay variable you have setting up you know your PID the user ID and the, uh, also the group ID which is for going to the user uh, thousand and also the group and also you can set some time and also subfolders and the volumes you can set up you know your local volume uh, from your host and you can give a path here and which will be mapping to the container path and also we are allowing the docker to access the docker.soc okay and the port as you can see uh, from the host we are mapping 3000 and also from the container so the container 3000 will be stable but if you want to change from host you can change it so that you know when you access the application from web browser the uh, port number will be changing based on that and you can also define you know the size of the RAM which you can allocate uh, to the system so if you want you can increase this based on you know uh, if availability of your size of you know in your host and you know you don't keep it less than 1 GB because your uh, web browser may crash because you know most of the system will need uh, some basic requirement for uh, memory and also you can see we are setting some restart uh, variable so that you know once the container gets crashed it will restart automatically uh, if you stop it by yourself then it will not so that uh, some options you have but if you want if you don't want to use docker compose if you want to just run as a single line command you can use the docker cli command so it's almost the same where you're giving a name for uh, your uh, container you're using privilege mode you're also using the environmental variable to set the user ID group ID and also setting the port and you can give a path this uh, location you can change to a path or you can use uh, docker uh, managed uh, path uh, volume so that you can you know uh, give a name for the docker volume and uh, you can see the memory which you can set and also uh, restart and also the last you are defining your um, image so the image you can use tag so now if you don't use a tag it's going to use latest if you want to set a specific version you can set up a tag so that it can uh, create uh, the tag uh, the different version of your linux so let's uh, let me try to create this so i'm going to copy this content and if you see i have a machine where i have a docker installed so you can see i have a docker version 20.10.10 .10 install in this uh, machine now you can run uh, the command uh, to create the docker container so if you see i don't have any docker container running now i will run this command and i will also make some changes so i have done the changes if you see i have uh, changed the volume so i'm just giving a uh, docker managed volume so webtop underscore config so it can create a default uh, volume in this name and i'm also giving a tag called ubuntu mate so that it can uh, run this version of uh, linux desktop now i just run it so I, I already have this image downloaded that's why it is not downloaded the image again so in your case you know it may try to download the image so it will go some time based on the size of the image now for me if you see like you know the container is running now i can access this uh, application or my linux ubuntu mate from a web browser so let's uh, let me go and do that so i have uh, the web browser open and i have the ip address for my docker host and i have the port number 3000 so if you if i run that you can see the browser is coming up so you can see the browser has came up and you can see the you know the ubuntu mate is up in the web browser now you can see it's inside our web browser and you know i can click over here so uh, you can see the whole uh, options of a normal desktop here right you can click on the menu you can see all the options what we can see from a browser you can also see like firefox you can click on that you have a home you can go and access your home if you want to access uh, some application you can search like for example i'm going to open a terminal so you can see the terminal is open so you can run the commands you can install uh, the applications like app install or whichever command you want so you can see you know you can uh, different uh, all those things you can do just like a browser 
uh, sorry, just like a normal uh, Linux desktop, but you're accessing this Linux desktop through a web browser. So it's a pretty, uh, you know, interesting, right? So you can also access like a web browser, uh, Firefox inside the Linux. You can see we are inside that and this is uh, a different uh, Firefox. So you can see, you know, you're getting a complete uh, operating system inside your web browser. It's a pretty, you know, interesting th thing which I found. Like you can use a web top. So somebody want to do some kind of easy, you know, lightweight system where you don't want to set up or on your local machine or a virtual machine. You simply run, you know, um, through a Docker container and you can access it through a web browser. So as you can see, like uh, we let's try to install uh, some application as well. So we have seen like uh, it's like a complete uh, normal desktop. So you can also try to install some application. So if you see, I don't have any application for VLC. So you, uh, I'll try to install the VLC application. So sudo app get install VLC. So this message is because uh, the you know, the in, in Linux itself is not updated, so the repository is uh, missing. So so let me update uh, the Linux first. So I'll wait for this to be completed, then we will try to install uh, VLC. So that is completed. Let me clear out the screens and let me install uh, VLC. So now we can see it's uh, reading the package, so we'll uh, uh, install it and we'll wait for that to be completed. And uh, for your information, we are doing all those things in the web browser, okay? So the Linux uh, Ubuntu Mate a version of Linux is running on a web browser. It's not on a, win on a virtual machines or it's not a, on a normal installation. So it's a browser uh, Linux where we are accessing like a complete system where you can install application where you can uh, do whatever you want just like a normal uh, Linux machine so the installation is completed let me go to the menu and let me search now you can see we have uh, VLC media player is back in the list right so it means we have installed an app which was not even available in the uh, in Linux machine and uh, we are installing through the browser login and we are doing it like a normal v Linux server right so it's uh, pretty simple you can do whatever you want uh, only thing is like you need to create uh, your uh, container for that so for that you know as I mentioned we run, uh, we have different versions of uh, uh, Linux you can use and you can uh, run it with uh, docker compose file as well you can just create a docker compose.yaml and you can use this a compose file to create a container or just simple use the docker cli as we did it so i will uh, give this link for all this reference link in the video description so you can refer uh, all these commands and you can uh, create your own container and you can start accessing your linux uh, server or desktop you on your uh, browser so that is all for this tutorial i hope uh, you like this uh, video and uh, to watch more interesting videos like this subscribe to my channel and also like my videos share and uh, give your feedback so thank you for watching